what's up youtube it's your girl malaika aka mali aka malibu whatever you want to call me you know it's me so i've always talked to you guys about teaching in the u.s teaching in england teaching in china and we've even spoken about um teaching in the uae if you haven't watched some of those videos head on over to the section of my channel that says live and you'll find some of that information you can also head to the home page and you'll see some of the folders that i have there you can check out some of the information there all right but today this video is about teaching in my home country jamaica can't leave out my home country okay so some of you guys people have reached out to me actually asking me to do videos on teaching in jamaica teaching in other parts of the caribbean so i'm going to start with jamaica because that's where i am from i have experience in teaching in jamaica and i want to share that knowledge with you so if you are from another country you want to teach in jamaica you want to learn how you can obtain a work permit what teaching in jamaica is like salary etc that's what i will be discussing in today's video so stay tuned <laughs> with some simple information about Jamaica so Jamaica is located in the Caribbean it's in the western part of the Caribbean I'll just include a map in there so y'all can see exactly where it is in relation to the US or other parts of the world that you all know we're close to countries like Cuba the Cayman Islands and also um, Haiti slash Dom Rep Hispaniola if people are still calling it that so yes that's where Jamaica is located all right now jamaica's weather it's pretty much hot or sunny all year round we do have what we call a dry season and a wet season we have the hurricane season but for the most part it's pretty much warm all year round we don't experience extreme weather during winter like other countries do um the wardrobe that you have in january can suffice straight up until or right up until december and repeat okay so that's a little bit about jamaica and where it is all right so if you are looking to and guys i always say this if you see me looking down i always have my notes because i don't want to forget anything so please bear with me so if you're looking to teach in jamaica you would want to know the requirements so the basic requirements is to have your bachelor's degree in education yes you can have a, a bachelor's in another um area however try to have a bachelor's degree in education if you don't have a bachelor's in education and you have a bachelor's let's say just in chemistry um ensure that you have that i don't know what they call it i think they call it uh like a diploma in education or something it takes like about a year year and a half to obtain um so try to have that some education you know qualification all right so that's that and then you also need to have a work permit because of course you're not a national you know of jamaica jamaica national and so you'll need to have authorization some form of authorization to work in jamaica and that's what we really want to explore in today's video all right but before we get to that um i want to tell you guys about the levels of education that exist in jamaica so unlike the us where there's middle school and all sorts of levels in jamaica we basically have four basic levels so we have infant school some people call it basic school with infant school generally we have children going there from about ages three four and five then we have primary school where we have grades one, two, three, four, five, and six. So the children are usually between the ages of six and 11 years old. Then we have high school, which starts at grade seven, where the students are between the ages of 12 and it goes all the way up to grade 11, um, where the students are about 16 or 17. And then students have the option to continue on with what we call um, sixth form that's grades 12 and 13 this is optional um but yes and that goes up to i think about age 19 so that's high school then there is a college or university so four basic levels of education 
in Jamaica. Now, if you want to lecture in Jamaica, it's not impossible, but a little bit more difficult. And that's just because the competition is very high in Jamaica right now. There are many qualified teachers who are currently at the high school level or at the primary school level that want to head over into, you know, the college level or lecturing. So it's kind of condensed right now. The competition is high, but it's not impossible. Okay. Um, generally to lecture at a college, it's, you should have a master's. Some universities will ask that you have a doctorate, but most of them they'll accept it with just a master's and you can work your way up to getting that doctorate. All right. So you may be wondering, why am I even doing this video? Apart from the fact that people have been asking me to do a video on how to teach in Jamaica, you know, there are many vacancies in Jamaica right now. And, you know, many schools for this upcoming school year will need teachers and so you know i want to do that advertisement for those who may be interested so that you know these schools can be filled up you know there's a teacher shortage going on everywhere in the world all right um so we spoke about the levels of education in jamaica so let's talk about the teaching schedule what will yours look like so we did say that we have infant school primary school high school college all right i'm gonna leave the college part out of it um let me go back a little bit and say that unlike some countries where if you teach in a college you won't necessarily earn more in jamaica teaching in a college or university does help to earn more it's not a case where um it's based on the hours that you work because i know that in some countries it's based on the hours that you work and so if you're working in a college you won't necessarily earn more than somebody who is working at a high school but in jamaica if you work in a college or university you should be earning more than the average high school teacher or primary school teacher also primary school teachers high school teachers once you're working with the government you should be earning around the same amount of money so no difference all right also, <laughs> guys, remember, I'm, sometimes I'm all over the place with my videos, but just follow with me, follow with me. Right. And also, the requirement to work in a primary school or a high school or even infant school, once you work with the government, it's the same requirement to get a bachelor's in education, so on and so forth. And guys, you don't necessarily need teaching experience, especially if you're coming from an accredited institution. However, that would be preferred, but not required. All right. Okay, so what's the teaching schedule like in Jamaica? And I'm talking about, um, I'll be talking about the infant, primary, and high school levels. So for infant school and primary school, basically, usually, there's one teacher that teaches basically all the subjects or most of the subjects. So let's say in primary school, you're a third grade teacher, or we, in Jamaica, we say grade three, not third. So let's say you're a grade three teacher, you will have that class, one class for the whole day. The students may break from you to go to like PE, maybe computer class, based on what that primary school offers. But for the most part, you will have those students right throughout the day. Now, you may be wondering, okay, that sounds like I'll be doing a lot of lesson planning. You may or you may not, depending on the school that you're with. So some schools have some form of collaboration between the teachers where one teacher is responsible of um, doing the lesson plans for let's say science another teacher is responsible for doing the lesson plans for math another for english etc 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 other schools is not so and you have to do other lesson plans yourself so just when you have an interview with any of these schools these are some of the questions that you can ask because you know you want to make the best decision for yourself and not overwhelm yourself with lesson plans all right um, and speaking about lesson plans, you are in Jamaica required to submit a lesson plan weekly. So, yeah. And even though I say weekly, it's for each day, but weekly you submit these lesson plans. Um, so the teaching schedule, you have your class right throughout the day. That's for primary school and infant school. For high school, usually you have different classes and you go from class to class. Usually, unless you're teaching a subject like food and nutrition or PE, usually you go to the students you go to whatever class they have some schools this both students and teachers move about to get to a particular class um other schools the students stay where they are and the teachers move but either way as a teacher you will definitely be moving about to get to your next class um you don't have the same schedule as other teachers do so one thing i've noticed since i've been teaching in the u.s 
for my department, we all have the same schedule. So when it's first period, it's first period for everybody. And we're all teaching in first period. We're all teaching in second period. We're all teaching in fourth period. But in Jamaica, I could be teaching in the first session and another teacher in your, in your department is not teaching in that session. So everybody has their own unique schedule that, you know, you work with. Um, so on average, you teach between 26 to... 30 sessions for the week as a junior level teacher when i say junior level teacher um entry level i don't know what to call it but basically you have junior teachers and senior teachers junior not meaning that you're young but meaning that you're new to the school and you don't have a certain level of responsibility you have the basic responsibilities as any other teacher the basic responsibilities would include perhaps if you have if you're in high school you have a homeroom or um, if you don't have a homeroom, maybe you have some responsibility for, let's say, cafeteria duty or you're a hallway monitor or something, something like that. Maybe you're a detention um, room monitor, something. So you have some responsibility. That's the basic responsibilities of a regular teacher. So, yeah, in terms of actual teaching time, you teach for about 26 to 30 sessions. Some schools, the sessions will vary. So some schools will have a session for 30 minutes some schools will have a session for 40 minutes some school a session is an hour some schools will do what we call double sessions so you'll have a one class for two hours or one class for 40 a double session with 245 minutes so yeah you can do the math um but yeah all in all 26 to 30 hours worth of teaching throughout the week you do have what we call free sessions or non-contact hours they don't like to say free sessions because you're never free because during those non-contact hours that's where you don't have students in front of you and you're in the staff room you are expected to be you know lesson planning marking papers setting exams whatever it is that teachers do um but yeah so i did speak about lesson planning you know saying that uh, with lesser planning, sometimes the responsibility will be shared amongst teachers, depending on the school that you're at. Also, you'll have at the start of the school year, some schools do this twice per year, is an action plan. It's where you lay out your objectives for the year, what you hope to achieve. Um, it, and then action plan looks different from school to school. You'll also have to do what's called a term plan. Usually that's spread out between, you know, the teachers within the department. So it's basically listing the topics that you're going to do. It's like a mini curriculum, but not, you know, it's simpler. It's simpler. Now, let's talk about what you're expected to wear at work in Jamaica as a teacher, especially if you're at a public school. And guys, I think right now, most public schools pay better than private schools. There are some private schools that do pay better than public schools, but for the most part, public schools do pay teachers better than private schools do. So in public schools and even in private schools, but mostly in public schools, teachers are expected to dress what we call professionally. Now I know everybody's version of professionalism may vary from country to country, but in Jamaica, you're expected if you're a female to wear stockings. Um, we're kind of moving away from that now though. So you won't find a lot of, you won't find it being a requirement, but it's still expected and you're seen as being very professional if you wear stockings and when i say stockings i'm not saying the very thick black ones we wear different shades of stockings in jamaica so you wear stockings especially if you're wearing a skirt your skirt should not be too short um most schools frown upon you know teachers female teachers who wear skirts above their knees um, or too far above their knees, your legs should not be showing, especially if you're working in a mixed school or in an all boys school. So that's another thing about Jamaica for high schools. We have mixed schools or we have, um, single sex schools where we have all boys schools or all girls institutions. I find that with the all girls institutions, the dressing is a little bit more relaxed, I guess, because it's all girls. I don't know. But for the mixed ones and the all boys schools, female teachers are expected to dress, you know, cover themselves properly. Um, so dressing professionally. So what I have on right now is simple. It's something that I've worn before in Jamaica. But, you know, you pair it with a nice skirt or something. At the end, they're supposed to look professional. So you've noticed that simple top. You pair it with a nice skirt or a nice bottom or something. 
and yes you can wear pants as females so and i've been talking about skirts yes you can wear pants as females for the men you're expected most times to wear a button front shirt so not a t-shirt t-shirts are unacceptable unless for days where we're where we have like a jeans they are casual there is something so males you're expected to wear a button front shirt so whether it's short sleeve or long sleeve you wear a button front shirt if it's a long sleeve shirt they, they like to see you in a tie you don't have to wear a tie but they like to see you in a tie and your dress pants so no jeans and a proper you know working shoes so that's what formal looks like in, in jamaica i'll try to include pictures for you guys to see what the dress code looks like and for my fellow jamaicans who are watching jamaican teachers you know if there's anything that you know i've I've missed out or whatever I'm not up to date on please feel free to put it in the comment section you guys know me already I always say that it's a platform for us all to learn um I've been out of Jamaica for two years now I may be out of touch but I don't think I'm that out of touch <laughs> so yes all right promotions so I did mention that they're junior level teachers they're senior level teachers um so in jamaica we have what we call senior teachers and i know that the government has done some short sort of shifting recently um but generally how senior teachers work is usually you're at the school for some time um it depends on the school that you're at some schools want you to be at the school for like 100 years before you can get senior teacher position other schools You'll, you can just be at the school for about three years or more and you know they'll observe you to see that you're a good teacher you're somebody who submits your lesson plans on time you're someone who gets to work on time you do everything that you're supposed to do you're involved otherwise you're a part of clubs and whatnot you're a pleasant person um and they will reward you with the position of senior teacher so the position of senior teacher will bring more responsibility however you'll get fewer sessions to teach that's if you're in the high school if you're in a primary school a senior teacher is more like a year group coordinator only and you still have the same amount of sessions to teach as everybody else but in high school you get fewer sessions to teach for sure but you also have responsibility otherwise so you could become the head of department or you could become a year group coordinator and there are other posts that are out there um some principals create their own titles for senior teacher positions and so it varies from school to school but once you're a senior teacher you do get a little bit more on your pay um and when i say a little bit more perhaps that extra could definitely cover for maybe your car gas or maybe a car loan for the month or something it could do something for you and so many people try to work towards becoming a senior teacher not only that it does look good on your resume when you're able to show that you have some leadership experience because becoming a senior teacher is it's important somewhat in jamaica for moving towards other levels so for example if you want to work at the ministry level in the us we say the district level if you want to move towards that it's good to show that you have some leadership experience already all right so that's that for you know you being promoted of course uh, as a senior teacher you can also move up after that and become like the assistant principal or principal etc but it's that step towards you know having that leadership experience in order to move to something else um so yeah now uh, let me also speak quickly about this before I get into how you can actually get the work permits. I know this video is kind of long, but I want to ensure that I cover as many things as possible so that when you're done with this video, you can be certain as to whether or not you want to work in Jamaica as a teacher and how to go about it. So um, in Jamaica, we have a city life. We have the country life. So living in the countryside, I would say... Hmm, so if you're going to work in Jamaica as a teacher, you want to understand whether you want to work in the city or if you want to work in the countryside. The benefit of working in the countryside is that rent is not as expensive as in the city. And some country areas, um, they are safer than in the city especially if you don't know the different areas and you know what's safe and what's not because you know this is not your country you don't know anything about the country or they can do your research but i think the benefit that the city provides is just you know a faster life if you're someone who likes entertainment and whatnot 
the city provides that of course you can live in the outskirts of the city to have the benefits of a cheaper rent and then work in the city for example some people work some people live in a place called portmore some people live in spanish town these areas are outside of the city but like still close enough so people travel about 40 minutes to an hour depending on the traffic that's on the road it could be less to work so they still benefit from cheaper rent but still work in the city and they're still close to the city for those you know activities or entertainment okay um so yeah it's it's definitely different from living in like the us or some other countries for example i think right now there's only one bowling alley that i know of in jamaica somebody could correct me in the comments if i'm wrong about that and it's currently in saint andrew when you hear saint andrew just think about kingston if you guys have ever heard about kingston we usually say kingston and saint andrew because they're so close together we just kind of count them as one so that bowling alley is in saint andrew jamaica and i don't know of any other so that's why you would perhaps want to experience the city life personally i grew up in the countryside all my life and then i found that after going to college i wanted to stay in the city so i did work in the city lived in the outskirts of the city so yeah you can decide based on that and just do your own research you know to see where you would really want to work um so yeah let's get into the nitty-gritty of it as to how you can get a work permit to teach in jamaica now as it stands you do not need a visa to come to jamaica unless you're planning to stay for more than 90 days so here's my foolish advice and i am not an immigration lawyer i repeat i am not an immigration lawyer or anything of the sort this is just my opinion at this point in time is if you can come to jamaica and it's not difficult to get a visa to come to jamaica by the way but let's say you come without a visa i would say just come try to land a job and it won't be difficult especially if you try to land a job between july and august that's a time when most schools are hiring because school starts in september okay so if you are able to land a job in jamaica at that point in time you have enough time to, to try to sort out the work permit aspect of it and your school can even further guide you and ex help you to expedite that process so let's start to talk about you know what's a work permit so you know a work permit is a document and i'm reading from the ministry of labor and social security that's where you will obtain your work permit so that's a document bearing a number and a photograph that is issued guys if you're hearing noise in my background please please bear with me bear with me because something is happening on the road right so bearing a number and a photograph that is issued to an expa expatriate which authorizes that individual to work in jamaica according to its stipulations for a specific period of time now if you want a work permit of course you have to make an application to the ministry then that's the ministry of labor and social security um you know through your prospective employer so let's say you already landed a job or you're looking about landing a job you make that application through your employer all right so i said that will um that will definitely expedite that process for you because you'd have already landed a job and that would be um much easier here are the requirements for your application form so first of all when you get that application you need to complete the application thoroughly writing in ink and using block capitals jamaica is very strong on the whole using block capitals aka using capital letters when you write or to fill out a form so you're using ink and block capitals and ink is usually blue or black ink only it is an offense punishable by law to supply any false or misleading statements or false documents in support of your application for a work permit or work exemption so part one of the application which are questions 1 to 29 should be completed by you the applicant the prospective employer of the application should complete part two which would be questions 30 to 51 of the form now there is now there is a non-refundable fee for the application it's not stated on the website what the fee is but you have to pay that fee 
in order for your application to be processed. Now here are the main documents that you will need when applying to the Ministry of Labor and Social Security. So first of all, you will need proof of qualification and that would include certified copies or proof of academic or professional qualifications or letters of accreditation. You will need a letter of recommendation. Guys, in Jamaica, recommendation letters, we're very high on that. So we're very big on that. So a letter of recommendation or written reference from the previous employer or the applicant of or ref evidence of business or commercial slash professional activity of the applicant abroad. In cases where any of the above named documents are prepared in a language other than English, so if you're coming from Cuba or another country that speaks something other than English, please, if your documents were prepared in something other than English, a certified English translation of the relevant documents should be supplied. A justice of the peace or a notary public with a valid commission should certify the documents, authorized members of staff, or the Ministry of Labor and Social Security may certify copies of the documents upon presentation of the original documents. You will also need a resume outlining the professional or business experience that you have. You will need a police record. And for new applicants, the record should be issued by the appropriate so, uh, security authority in the country of, you know, the applicant, you the applicant. You will need two photographs um, in order to, you know, process the work permit. And you will need your TRN. That's your tax um, taxpayer registration number. All right, which should be, you know, completed and signed by the applicant. Now, in terms of the picture that you'll be taking, these are the instructions. One, it should be taken in color with a flat finish against a plain background. It should provide a full frontal view of the head, neck, and the top of the shoulders with ears clearly visible. There should be no reflection from eyeglasses or background shadows that may obscure the image. The size of the face should be 25 millimeters to 35 millimeters from the chin to the top of the head. The, applica the applicant should not wear any head covering while taking the photograph, except where required for religious reasons. Should be enclosed in an envelope and should not be stapled. Also, it should be certified by a notary public or a justice of the peace. Now, the work permit form is available on the ministry's website, the Ministry of Labor and Social Security's website. You can just download it and, you know, start with it or whatever whenever you land that job first please note that some schools are flexible and if you make a note of it in your resume or your application to that school you can tell them that you would like to have an interview online so let's say you want to land a job before you even move to jamaica to start the process of getting your work permit and whatnot um you know just state that you would like to have a, a virtual interview and you know go from there go from there so i know you guys are wondering what's the salary like teaching in jamaica presently um and the te teachers got a significant raise the other day in jamaica for more information on the salary you can contact the ministry of education youth and information in jamaica on that but i'll just give you a baseline so basically you will not be earning less than one thousand us dollars you will not be paid in us dollars by the way you'll be paid in jamaican dollars um so you can expect to earn at least a thousand us dollars um before tax at least that's okay at least and right now with the raise that happened or whatnot it could be more so i'm saying that's the least i don't want to give you an exact figure because i did state i am not in jamaica um and also i i don't know jamaica kind of operates different from other countries in ter terms of giving certain information out on the internet so i don't want to i don't want to say disrespect but i don't want to just put out the salary like that because sometimes people are watching who are not teachers they live in jamaica and they think that okay teachers are making a whole lot of money when that's not the case so i'm just putting it at that to say okay at least a thousand us dollars 
for the month. If you want to learn about what you will be earning specifically, please contact the Ministry of Education, Youth and Information for more about that. Also, if you've already landed a job with the school, if the school is a bursa, what we call a bursa paid school, you can always find out from the school bursa what you will be earning specifically. All right. Um, let me talk a little bit about the cost of living in Jamaica. So I'm, I'll be quoting these in Jamaican dollars. You can do the calculation yourself into USD if that's better for you. But I said that you'll be earning at least a thousand US dollars. So that would translate to 150,000 Jamaican dollars. Okay. So that's that in JMD. So if you will, if you will be renting, let's say in the city area, that's Kingston and St. Andrew, you can be looking for rent for at least $50,000, at least $50,000. Um, if you do decide to rent in like the inner city areas, AKA ghetto, you could get it for less. If you are a daredevil and you're like, I don't care, I can live anywhere. You can get it for less but look at at least fifty thousand for your rent um in terms of groceries the last time i left jamaica i think we were paying about thirty thousand for groceries that was my husband and i monthly and i think some people pay more so let's say about forty thousand for groceries on a monthly basis um and then there's light which can be at least ten thousand dollars Water bill, when I left Jamaica, we were paying about $2,500. So let's say about $3,500 for your water bill. And then to get around, um, it depends on where you live. But on a monthly basis, let's say... Hmm, let's say for your transportation on a monthly basis is about... Let's say twelve to fifteen thousand dollars, give or take, and I'm saying to fifteen thousand just because, like, apart from going to work and whatnot, you may want to go other places. So twelve to fifteen thousand dollars for transportation, um, to get your hair done as a female in Jamaica. Let's say about seven thousand dollars, um, and that's separate from purchasing the hair. So let's say let's say about ten thousand dollars to do your hair on a monthly basis. Um, as a male, I think right now to get your hair cut, to get a haircut is like between a thousand to two thousand Jamaican dollars, depending once again on where you are located. So that's just that. So let's say at least one hundred and fifty thousand as your pay, and those are the other things that you'll be taking out of your salary. Now, teaching in Jamaica is a beautiful experience. It's not just about the salary; it's about the interaction that you receive while working with the students you'll realize that working in jamaica is much different from working in places like the us or canada or the uk um and i don't want to I, I i'll i'll leave you to have that experience for yourself but it can be a vibe depending on the school that you're at um it's nice it's nice if you if you're just looking to have a different experience live the island life have access to beaches resorts and all of that teaching jamaica teaching jamaica so guys i hope that you enjoyed this video i hope that this video was somewhat informative for you i'll be sure to put the link for the ministry of labor labor and social security down in the comment section below or i'll just put it on screen or something um but yeah guys i hope to hear your success story of your transition from your current country to jamaica i hope that you'll enjoy your experience there and i wish you guys all the best on your international teaching journey this is malaika aka mali aka malibu whatever you want to call me it's me and i'm saying bye